How did you come to this story? How did you decide to approach Laura Albert? Uh, a good friend of mine is a journalist, and he turned me on to the story. And I had not really heard much. Um, so I read the articles that had come out in New York Magazine, uh, the New York Times, Vanity Fair had done a huge piece, Salon.com. And, you know, the hook was initially, wow, the biggest literary hoax of our time. And I, I was very, very intrigued. But as I read these pieces, there was one voice, you know, glaringly missing from, from all these, a lot of people who had weighed in. And I thought to myself, wow, that's a voice that I would like to hear on this story. So I, uh, I reached out to Laura Albert and I sent her The Devil and Daniel Johnston. And it didn't take her too long to get back to me. And she very much enjoyed it. And basically, there were two reasons she decided to work with me. She said, well, you're a Jew and you come out of punk rock. And that was it. So at that point in time, we uh, went on this journey and started to figure out how to get this done. Um, with that said, I've got a person in the house who actually wrote the JT the Roy books, and that is Laura Albert, and we'd like to bring her up. Welcome up here. <laughs> Hi, Laura. I'm Caroline. Hi. So we're just going to have a conversation for a little bit. It's late. We're going to just try to get right to the meat of it. Will you talk a little bit about how Jeff approached you and what that felt like? When, why were you ready when he came to you? Well, first I want to say that um, I've seen this movie, uh, this is my third? Three times. Three times. And this is like the first time I feel like I've really seen it. Like my body is just, I mean, I am, um, it's fucking, I, I um, realized I was talking with a friend the other day that uh, it's like, you know, an ice is frozen and you can walk on it, but underneath, you know, if it cracks, you can fall through because there's a current that's moving and um, that's the kind of way I am. Like I have a really thick layer, but it takes a long time for to get to the stuff underneath, and I think it's just kind of uh, well, you really got it all. I mean, you fucking did it. And I don't know how I made it through all that time. You know, there's a fucking lot of shit. The fucking lot of shit. I, know, I I just really hope that um. You know, people who have gone through, you know, I get so many beautiful emails from people and the work just, it's still of itself. And people write to me and they know the whole thing and they're like, they tell me how it kept them alive. The authentic truth of it, the felt authenticity of the work. And um, that means everything to me. And, um... Mm -hmm. I, uh, it was like a transmigration of spirit and uh, with JT and I feel like that's what happened here. I, I gave it all to him because when I watched Devil and Daniel Johnston, I just got that he was able to allow Daniel to rest transparently on the grace that gave him rise. Like with all the fucking crazy Michigan shit, <laughs> it was still incredibly organic and he still cared. And um, I felt like, okay, because I am I I can't filter. I'm either all in or I'm out, and there's no gray. And uh, I knew if I was going to... I had so many people come, and I didn't want it to be about celebrity bullshit or anything, because that's bullshit. It's not about that, and that's just such a temptation. And uh, I you know I'd rather die than betray what it was about. And um, I knew if I said yes, I had one one fucking chance. And uh, 
it was a leap of faith. You have to come to the process of life and of art completely in faith. And I felt